All right, what's going on guys? Dan Watson. And yeah, I know you're probably thinking this is just kind of an ordinary lav wireless mic setup. And let me tell you, this product is actually life-changing. And a lot of people don't believe me until they get one integrate it in their workflow, and then yes, absolutely, this will completely change so much of what you do for the better. And thankfully, this isn't any wireless mic setup. This is actually the new Comica Boom XD Pro. A lot of words, but at least they make it sound cooler than your typical wireless setup. But I know you're probably thinking, you look at this and you think, Rode Wireless Go 2. And this has actually been my wireless mic setup for the last I don't know, a year or so since they came out. So my big question was, first of all, is this any good? And will it actually be the better one to get than the Rode Wireless Go 2? So let's take a look. So before we get into all the review stuff like hardware and quality and all that stuff, I've got this thing rigged up on my a7 IV and I just wanna show you just how life-changing this thing is. So first of all, this isn't just a wireless lav mic setup. This is also a internal recorder on this and here's how that changes things so let's say you have a wireless mic setup however you want to have some kind of a safety channel in case you start to lose that wireless dropout or maybe you stopped recording but something was said this is amazing because that wireless lav mic will still be recording even if you shut off the camera or lose connection. So not only do you have a safety channel just in general you have a safety channel that will always function no matter what. Or maybe you actually just want to record on the lav mic but don't care about wirelessly sending it to a camera, don't want to turn off your camera, you can actually just hit record on the lav mic and that will absolutely do it. The other thing on here is you actually have a headphone output right from this receiver and that allows you to not only monitor it from here but just in case you don't have a setup that has a wireless headphone inside of your camera, that is gonna be an option for you as well. Now number three, these mics are not just wireless labs. They actually have an internal mic right on the front of them here. So not only could you actually use this as an external microphone setup here, but you could also just hook this onto your shirt, record with this, or uh, Rode makes this pretty cool accessory right here so you can actually mount this right here. And now you have a handheld mic that not only is sending a feed to the camera itself, but also recording in internally, so some really cool options there as well. So life change reason number four, this actually has two transmitters in it, which means you have two different channels of audio, even if you've got a camera that only has one input in it. Usually you would have to go to some high-end cinema cameras to be able to get that kind of functionality, but now you can get it with a really simple system just like this. And I don't know about you, but I'm always recording two levels of audio, so whether I've got a groom and the efficient mic, or whether I've got an interview between two different people, it is really cool to have dual channel audio on a system like this. Reason number five, these also have a safety channel option on them at negative six dB. So if you ever start to peek on any of them, you do have a safety channel that you can enable. Now reason number six is that you can plug in just about anything into these. It doesn't have to be just these lav mics or just using the internal mics. So right here, I've actually got my shotgun mic plugged into this and then this allows me to also have a second channel that I can be using as a lav mic or just as an internal mic. Also, you can actually plug this directly into a soundboard. I've actually used that to be able to get a wireless feed from the board over to a different recorder. Or USB-C off of these right into your computer and now you have a more amazing mic setup for anything from Zoom calls to video chats. So yeah, if you heard all that and still don't wanna buy one of these, I don't know what's wrong with you because all that made me wanna get a second set. So let's kinda dive into the hardware and quality of these Boom XDs. So the hardware on these, this is absolutely a winner for me. And if you've ever used the Rode Wireless Go 2s, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about here. But these do come pretty organized in this nice little case system here. I feel kind of bad because usually a groom will give me a mic kind of midway through the wedding after the ceremony and it'll just get thrown in my bag and tossed around. But at least when I go to the wedding, it is nice and organized into all of these three caddies right here. Plus you have all of your cables, windscreens, everything like that are included as well, which is super nice. So the first thing I noticed though is going to be this display. And the main reason I noticed it is because the Rode Wireless Go 2s don't have any displays on the transmitter itself, but on the Comica units, 
you do get everything. So you have battery life, you have your recording levels, you have uh, your transmitter status, and whether you're recording or not are all visible. Now the downside is these are a little bit larger than the wireless Go 2s. Not a big deal in here. They're still crazy small and not heavier. However, I have noticed that the battery life does not seem to be as good. Uh, Comico quotes about four hours and I'm getting a little bit less than that. Still enough for me to get through pretty much all the shoots and you can power these through USB-C. But yeah, I do wish that it had a little bit better battery life. Also, you have dedicated hardware buttons for virtually every function. And this is kind of a big deal because yeah, that Rode Wireless Go 2, you have one button on the transmitter and two on the receiver and you need to use those to access a ton of different functions, which is really difficult compared to these Comica ones because they have hardware buttons for virtually everything you need to change from levels and everything like that. You also have a headphone jack on the receiver unit itself. Another big difference is you actually have a dedicated record button on the transmitter itself and the Comica units, the Rode basically as soon as you turn them on, they are always recording. But with this dedicated record button, it means I can turn them on, monitor connection status, levels, everything like that. And I'm not physically recording until I want to, so my files are usually a bit smaller. Plus if you're using Comica's lav mic, there is a locking mechanism on the lav mic. So you don't have to worry about all this unit being pulled off. The only thing I will say is this has both a mute button on it and that record button and there's no lock on it at all to make sure those don't accidentally get touched. I really wish that we had something like that. I've contacted them to see if we can maybe hold down the mute button to lock the entire mechanism so that whoever the talent is that's wearing these doesn't accidentally hit the mute. I've never had that happen, but it is something that does keep me worried. Now these are also available in both black and white. So if you shoot weddings like me, this is gonna be huge because you can get a white unit in case you have to mic a bride, or maybe you have a groom that's wearing a white shirt, jacket, anything like that. So a few specs. So this has eight gigs of internal memory. This will actually record in up to two hour settings. So if you just leave this on for hours and hours on end, it will record two hours and then create a new file. Uh, the roads actually only record one hour and that can actually be a little low for me because most of my YouTube videos, interviews, or even weddings, I'll have this powered on for more than an hour, which means that I have two different files for everything that I do. And I really like having that longer record limit. So after that two hours, it will just record in a brand new file. Now, this will hold about 24 hours total of recording and how these units work, same way that the roads will work. As you've recorded over 24 hours of material, it will actually erase the oldest file to be able to keep recording at new file. And it basically just keeps resolving. So this is not a bad thing at all. Mostly I use these for backup, but just know that if you're recording over 24 hours worth of stuff, you need to make sure to back up those old files before you start recording again. Now, as far as recording goes, these will have both mono stereo and a safety channel at negative six dB option. Now that's mostly if you're recording with one unit. If you've got two transmitters hooked up, Basically, they will record in a couple different ways. So if you set up mono, then both transmitters will actually record onto the same file in stereo. So you don't have independent controls of each one. Basically, you do on the unit itself, but you don't in post. Or if you record in stereo, it will record one of your transmitters to the left channel, one of your recorders to the right channel. That way you can alter the levels of these in post. Or if you do negative 6 dB as a safety channel, it will still record them just like mono, both of them coming into the same one on the left channel, and then both of them coming into the same one for the right channel, just at that lower negative 6 dB level. So tons of different options for how you want to actually record these. So when it comes to audio quality, I'll let you guys be the judge. I'm actually gonna record both of these side by side using both the internal mics as well as using the lav mics that both of these came with. You can actually see that the Comica unit is actually quite a bit larger than the Rode unit right here. So in case that makes a difference. Now, you can absolutely use these with any lav mic you want, so these are replaceable, but this will give you a good idea of how these sound using both their lav mics and internal lav mics and we'll do it all while I tell you about the brand new features at squarespace.com and how you can actually save 10% just by clicking that link below. So obviously Squarespace makes it crazy easy to build a new site with templates and customizable blocks for adding in new content 
and even the ability to search through thousands of images to help you get started. And there are some insane tools for photographers and videographers from custom galleries that allow you to password protect them for sharing privately with clients and the ability to add in e-commerce to be able to sell products online as well. I was able to upload my camera guide so I could sell them straight through my site in a matter of minutes. There's also a full scheduling system so you can have clients sign up directly for their sessions online. So go ahead and check it out guys. It's completely free to get started. Just use my coupon code learning cameras when you build something awesome and you can go live with that site today. Now, as far as the range goes, Comic Estate's about 100 meters in line of sight, and I would say that's a pretty good number. However, keep in mind a couple of things. So first of all, if you are walking away from this unit, so you got the transmitter on somebody and it's walking away from the wireless receiver, you will start to notice dropouts quite a bit. Hello. 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 Now, if they're standing still or walking towards the system, I had no problems at all, but when they're walking away, you will notice some of those dropouts. You get the exact same thing on the Rode Wireless Go 2s. However, I noticed it was happening a little bit less on these units than it was on the Comica units. So that was the main thing. As long as I had the talent standing still or walking towards me, I was fine. However, if they were walking away, that's when I needed to rely on that internal recording because I was getting those breakouts. So the pricing comes in at $269 for both black and white units. And if you're thinking about what you get for that price, it is just insane. Two transmitters, receivers, cables, everything like that for that price is just amazing. I'm telling you guys, these are life-changing products. If you don't own something like this, you absolutely should. Now, when it comes to the differences between these, a couple of things. So on the audio quality, I was pretty good with both of these units. None of them were crazy amazing, but they were both very good. Plus, you can always use your own lav mics. This is my own unit that I use all the time. Plus, you can hook in things like shotgun mics and use them in a variety of different ways. Now, when it came to the wireless abilities on both of these, I would say the Rode Wireless Go 2 was a little bit stronger. However, both of them still occasionally cut out on me depending on what I was shooting, especially if someone who was walking away from me, that's where I saw it the most. And so I was using that backup internal recording a lot, so it really didn't make too much of a difference for me. And the hardware, having that screen, having the functionality on these was a huge benefit to me, being able to just hit record and have it start recording there and stop it without having to turn off and on the units itself. Those are massive feature that made a big difference in everyday life. So even though the battery was not quite as good on these, at least I could actually see the battery life on there. So that was absolutely awesome. But definitely let me know what you guys are thinking down below and stay tuned because I just got in the Canon R3. I just got in some unreleased cameras. So things are about to get absolutely amazing. I'm so stoked. Follow me on IG if you haven't already. I'll be posting some BTS of everything going on there. Hope you guys are doing amazing. I'll see you soon in a new video.